Good evening, class. This evening, we're going to be looking at Lesson 6.2, Subtraction with Unlike Denominators. So let's begin by looking at our essential question. How can you use models to subtract fractions that have different denominators? Okay, we're going to kind of do like we did for Lesson 6.1. Even though it's talking about utilizing fraction strips, we're going to kind of skip over that, and we're going to go straight to the subtraction with unlike denominators. So let's do look at our word problem for our investigate. Mario fills a humming beer feeder with three-fourths cup of sugar water on Friday. On Monday, Mario sees that one-eighth cup of sugar water is left. How much sugar water did the hummingbirds drink? So let's begin by looking at the question we need to answer. How much sugar water did the hummingbirds drink? So let's kind of take a look at some of the other key items within our word problem. We notice a key word where it says is left. And we know when we think of is left, we have to think of subtraction. We also see that he started off with three fourths cups of sugar water on, Mon on Friday and that he was left with one eighth cup of sugar water on Monday. So let's look at those two things. So let's jump down to C. It says to record the difference of three-fourths minus one-eighths. And we know that the difference means subtraction, and that's the answer to our subtraction problem. So very similar to the way that we added fractions, we actually have to find the common multiple or the common factor for our denominators in order to subtract. So we look at it and we see that we have a four as a denominator in this fraction and an 8 as a denominator in this fraction. So we know we have to find the common multiples between those two. So if we list out our multiples of 4, we see 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. And then our other denominator is 8. So it's going to be 8, 16, and we already see that we can stop because we already have a common denominator of 8. So if we look at 3 fourths minus 1 eighth, we know the first step we have to find is our common denominator, which we did. So we list our 8 as the denominator over here and 8 as our denominator over here. Now just like we did with adding um, fractions with unlike denominators, we do the same thing with subtraction. So it's 8 divided by 4 equals 2, and 2 times 3 equals 6. So the equivalent fraction of 3 fourths with the denominator of 8 is 6 eighths. Now we see that we already have a denominator of 8 here, so we don't have to do anything. We can bring our fraction as is straight down. So we add our subtraction sign. Now, just like with addition, we only subtract the denominator or the numerators. We only subtract the numerators. So 6 minus 1 equals 5. Our denominator stays the same. So the hummingbirds drank 5 eighths cup of sugar water. Let's jump down to our draw conclusions. Describe how you determined what fraction strips, all with the same denominator, would it exactly under the under the difference and what are they? Oh, we saw that we had to use the eighths because when we did our multiples out, we saw our very first common multiple was eight. So our answer is when we listed our common multiples of the denominators four and eight, we noticed the first common multiple was eight. Now let's look at our hot problem. Explain whether you could have used fraction strips with any other denominator to find the difference. If so, what is the denominator? Well, of course we could have used a different denominator to find the answer because, again, we see that we have another set of common denominators for these two, and that would be 16. So technically, we could have used the denominator of 16 and the denominator of 16 and we know that 16 divided by 4 equals 4, and 4 times 3 equals 12. And 16 divided by 8 equals 2, and 2 times 1 equals 2. 
So we could have subtracted and ended up with 10 sixteenths. And then we could have simplified that down to 5 eighths. Now let's make some connections to what we just learned. It says sometimes you can use different sets of same denominator fraction strips to find the difference. All the answers will be correct. So let's take a look at our A. And instead of using our fraction strips, which you can see, you could actually use the fraction strips and throw the 1 6 in there. We are simply going to subtract. So we're going to practice some more. So 2 thirds minus 1 6 equals. Well, if we list our multiples of 3 and 6, we would see that 3, 6, 9, and then let's look at and 12, and then let's look at 6, 12, and we can already stop because we see our very first common multiple. So we use 6 as our denominator for both fractions. We know that 6 divided by 3 equals 2, and 2 times 2 equals 4. And since we already have a denominator of 6, we can bring this fraction straight down as is, put our subtraction sign, and 4 minus 1 equals 3 6. And we know that we can simplify 3 6 by dividing by 3, dividing by 3, and that leaves us with 1 half. So our answer is either 3 6 or 1 half. Now, we also could have used a different denominator because we see that we also have 12 as a common multiple between 3 and 6. So if we had done with our denominator of 12 and we put our 2 thirds minus 1 6, we know that 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. 12 divided by 6 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And then it brings down our subtraction sign and 8 minus 2 equals 6 because we only subtract the numerators. The denominator stays the same when adding and subtracting fractions. So that answer becomes 6 twelfths. We know that if we simplify 6 twelfths, divide both the numerator and the denominator by 6, that our answer is going to be 6 divided by 6 is 1, 12 divided by 6 is 2. So we see that we end up with the same answer of 1 half, 1 half. Now let's continue with our unlock the problem. And it says, our unlock the problem, if we look at the word problem in it, says the picture at the right shows how much pizza was left over from lunch. Jason eats one-fourth of the whole pizza for dinner. Which subtraction sentence represents the amount of pizza that is remaining after dinner? So we know that part of our question is which subtraction equation represents the amount of pizza remaining after dinner? So it starts off with with finding how much pizza was left over after lunch. So we see that one, two, three, four, five pieces were left over out of the whole pizza of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our denominator is eight. So there was five eighths of the pizza left after lunch. And then we go back to our word problem where it says he ate one-fourth of the whole pizza for dinner. So he ate one-fourth for dinner. Well, we know that we have to find our, in order to answer it, we would have to find our common denominator. But we already see this equation over here of five-eighths minus one-fourth. So... Let's dig down. What problem are you being asked to solve? Well, if we go back to our word problem, we see that which subtraction sentence represents the amount of pizza 
that is remaining after dinner. So the question we're being asked to solve, what fraction of the pizza is remaining after Jason eats dinner? Now let's look at our next one. How will you use the diagram to solve the problem? Okay, the diagram shows how much pizza was left after lunch. And we counted it. One, two, three, four, five pizza pieces out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we will mark the diagram to represent the pizza Jason eats at dinner. So Jason eats one fourth of the whole pizza. How many slices does he eat? Well, in order to demonstrate this, we have to take our pizza and cut it into four slices. And we see that within each one, because it does say he ate one fourth of the whole pizza for dinner. Not just one fourth of what was left, but one fourth of the whole pizza. And you can see that when we divide it into fours, that each one of the sections contains one, two pieces of pizza, one, two pieces of pizza, one, two pieces of pizza, one, two pieces of pizza. So when it says, how many slices did he, does he eat? We see that he eats two slices. Now it says to draw the diagram of the pizza, shade sections of pizza that are remaining after Jason eats dinner. Well, if we go back up to our pizza up here, we see that he eats two slices. So when we look at the ones that are left, we see that we have one, two, three pieces left. So we need to shade in three pieces to show what's left over the pizza after he eats dinner. So now we're going to write a fraction to represent the amount of pizza that is remaining. And since we have one, two, three pieces left, that becomes our numerator. And we know that there were eight slices in the pizza, which becomes our denominator. Okay, so let's take a look at our password for today's lesson. It, it says, Hector used the expression 3 and 7 tenths plus 2 and 1 tenths plus 4 and 3 tenths to describe the number of miles that he ran in three days. How can he rewrite the expression using both the associative and commutative properties? Is it A, 5 and 8 tenths plus 4 and 3 tenths, 3 and 7 tenths plus parentheses 2 and 1 tenth plus 4 and 3 tenths parentheses, parentheses 3 and 7 tenths plus 4 and 3 tenths parentheses plus 2 and 1 tenths, or 3 and 7 tenths plus 2 and 1 tenths plus 4 and 3 tenths. Mark your answer and be sure to bring it with you to class tomorrow. I'll see you then.